So here I have another three really lovely little inspirational books. Now I previously looked at Freehand by Helen Birch, Pen and Ink by James Hobbs and Fine Liner Art by Liam Carver. So these three are all by Helen Birch. So the first one I'm just going to have a look at is just add watercolour. Now as I mentioned in the previous video they are quite chunky little books just under A5 with very flexible covers. So this one was published in 2015 and we have this beautiful index here of pictures, all of the pictures that are featured in the book. Very colourful little book this. So we again have at the beginning we have what is watercolour and then we move into the paintings. Now each painting we have the artist's name and a little bit about the process they use to create the picture. Now this is one of my favourites, in fact my three favourite books are all by Helen Birch in this series. It's really hard to find the books, I don't even know, I think they just popped up in my Amazon uh, based on my history of looking for art books, but it is quite difficult to find them. So if you know of any others in this, this series, please let me know. Now something I forgot to mention uh, when I looked at the other three books is when you get to the back of the book, I flicked through it and then didn't actually mention we've moved on to another little section. There's a section on the fundamentals. So this is obviously watercolour fundamentals, but each book has a little section at the back that tells you a little bit more. So there's lots of information. And then this one, Drawn from Life. I'm not even sure why I got this one because I don't really do life drawing much, but I think it's something that is really useful to have and it definitely gives you some inspiration. So 2017 it was published and we have all these pictures here. So if you like life drawing, I think you would really appreciate this little book. I really love these pictures of hair. I'm not very good at faces. I don't really do figures, but there is still something in here to help me. So at some stage, you know, you need to experiment. You shouldn't just draw the same thing every day. So we have quite a bit of information. I think some of the portraits are really pretty. And then we have one of my favorites, which is Just Draw Botanicals. Now this again was one of the most recent books, it was published in 2020 and this is absolutely stunning. So we have a little bit at the beginning and then we have all these beautiful pictures of flowers and fruit and vegetables. It's such a wonderful colourful little book. Why botanical? And then we move on to the artworks again the artist's name up here, a little bit about the picture and these pictures are absolutely stunning. So I've really enjoyed reading this book so much and what's lovely about them is you can pick them up and pop them in your bag, take them with you if you're going somewhere and just flick through at any time that you want to be inspired. Just really, really pretty books. And then of course at the back we have the fundamentals again on botanicals so a little bit more information and the, the back section here is really useful so here they are three more beautiful little books really nice I can highly recommend all of the books in the series so if you know of any others please let me know